just 60 miles from Washington, D.C., is one of America's most celebrated small towns, Harpers Ferry. Situated between the beautiful Potomac and Shenandoah Rivers is the Towns Inn. My wife, Anna, and I bought the inn for my mom back in 2007. We wanted it to be a good investment, but we also bought more with our hearts than our heads. I think it's the type of woman who's happiest when she's working, so we figured this would be a good place for her to work and enjoy um, the season of life that she's in. I'm a grandmother, so it's kind of grandmother's house. And I'm here mainly because I've retired from teaching. I love historical properties and decided that being an innkeeper would be a fun thing for the rest of my life. The Towns Inn is probably kind of like a circus. Karen's the ringleader, and you never know what's going to happen next. Working for Karen is interesting. It's frustrating. She's pretty set in her ways, and it's her way or the highway. I think what makes someone a good mom isn't necessarily what makes someone a good boss or a good business owner. Karen, as a businesswoman, she don't have no experience, and it's awful. Karen treats this place as both her business and her home, but more her home. I mean, her bedroom was in her office. You know, she'd sleep right there, pretty much in the dining room. I have asked Karen, is this your home or restaurant or is it an inn? You can't have it all three ways and spec to make money. Karen is absolutely a hoarder. Karen hoards her clothes, old shoes, books, baskets. Don't even get me started on those damn baskets. There's baskets everywhere. You could open a closet in a hotel room and see a pile of baskets. You could walk in our server area, open the fridge, and I bet there'd be a basket there because they're literally everywhere. Karen's in denial of what's wrong. She needs to separate herself from this place or things aren't gonna change. We are suffering, we are in debt, and the customers are going away. While we don't want to sell the Towns Inn, I think we're certainly at a crossroads of just saying, is this becoming overwhelming for my mom? You know, she's not getting any younger, and it's just, it could be a potential train wreck. So if the ship is sinking, then we want to make sure we get our mom off of the boat before it sinks. Wow, look at this place. Gorgeous. Fresh food. Wow. Nice to see you. Karen Townsend. Karen, good to see you. I'm glad oh, you're here. Gorgeous little town. Does it remind you um, of your, well, isn't it kind of the quaint It reminds village? me of a movie set. I mean, it's just it's been literally. been used that many times. Has it really? Yeah. Wow. OK, I'm interested to have a quick happy. look round, and uh, mm -hmm. yeah, I'll follow you. OK. Um, What's all this out here? What is that? Oh, that's just for watering the plants? Yeah, and we get a lot of hikers, and wow. it rains here sometimes. What is that? Well, who knows? It's been here a oh. long time. It, but it's like Freddy Krueger's hat. <laughs> who, 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 who's this, this? It's just there for anybody that wants to borrow oh, it. Oh, I see. And does anyone borrow that, Karen? No, they haven't no. yet. <laughs> Interesting. Another one as well. And what, are these <laughs> they're for sale. They're, oh, they're for sale? Yeah, see? Summer hats. How much are these? Three, three, to, three to 20. Three? Depends. And this is how much? Uh, maybe not more. Whatever you want to offer. Well, We're very flexible. I'm not too sure if this is my style. And, uh, ooh, that's dusty That's there. a pretty special one. Um, why is it so special? Because it's got... Full of dust. Yeah, West Virginia. Uh, and this much... is almost heaven. How much is that one? It's whatever you offer. Are these secondhand? No, not that. Right. Some things are, but not that. <laughs> Man, it's your business. Are you okay. selling many? Are you, are you busy? No. We don't really sell a lot of hats. I see. Mm -hmm. Oh, hello. You've got customers in already. Hello. This is my Hi, friend Sarah. Sarah. Mm -hmm. Sarah. Oh. Nice to meet you. <laughs> oh, well, good to see you. Nice are you, you. you joining us for lunch today, or are you...? I have no idea. I'm up to whatever. I'm here. I do... Um... What does that mean? She's just a family friend. Oh, fan I'm a, OK, right. I'm a so you're not a customer. Person. I'm so sorry. Right. I'm not a customer. Is this a convenience store, or...? This is a is dining it... room. Wow. I mean, it's very claustrophobic in here. It is. Bits and bobs of everything. And those um, freaky dolls, well, what are they for? they are sort of uh, souvenirs. Oh, are you selling lots? We do, mm-hmm. Wow, a bit dusty. A lot of people who come here have children. They're looking for something to take back. What about this one here, the collector's choice? How much is this one? I think 25. <laughs> Jesus, so dusty. I didn't know they were for sale. You didn't know they're for sale? How much does this room make a month? Um, 
I can't give you an exact figure because we record right. the purchases in with the restaurant sales. Yeah. But I would say 15% of sales. 15%? Mm-hmm. Who drinks all this cider? Uh, no, actually, we use that in the restaurant. Jeez. Well, but we sell a lot of it. It's good in the summer, June, July, and August. Now, my daughter made those. Right. Uh, what are they? They're little hats for little children. It's full of dust and hair. And what's this? Hot pads. Handmade. Hot pads? Mm-hmm. Is that $60? Who buys this? People with children. I hope people with children. <laughs> That's full of dust inside. Well, you have to wash it before you use it. Look. And um, what's this? Uh, this made? is Sarah's journal. So she keeps a journal? Yeah. Wow. So it's, uh, it's almost like a novel. It is. And she puts sermon notes and telephone numbers and prices, wow. and she calls it her brain. Oh, public bathroom, decorate with baskets. Yeah, wow. she decorated the baskets up in my washroom. Oh. Oh, dear. OK. Wow. So, um... All right. What's that there? That, that is a bottle holder. You can put, like, a water bottle in oh. it. So it's, it does appeal wow. to hikers. I thought it was a bicycles. jock strap. Do you know what that oh, is? Oh, you know, it could... It looks uh, like a jock yeah. strap. I hadn't thought of that, well, but you got a point. <laughs> what's that down this, there? That's our bread. And then behind that is the closet where our potatoes are kept. But are, are, the, are the loaves for sale, too? If someone asks for them. And hikers do sometimes, but normally it's... Um, it's just for the breakfast. We have toast. Are you expecting a lot of people? That's how much we go through in a few days, believe it or not. Really? Unfortunately, they're out of date as well. We couldn't. Are you serious? Second of November. OK, you're right. Today's the 6th. Oh, that's very embarrassing. Yeah. Let's go to my, uh, my room. What is that? Oh, these are my famous baskets. Baskets? Yeah, I love baskets and I collect them. Beautiful baskets for sale. Prices vary from $1 to $30. Stop it. $30. Well, so, Man. Some of them are very unique. You're telling me that families come in here and they mm -hmm. go for a hike and they buy these baskets on the way mm -hmm. to the mountains. Mm -hmm. Stop. This one's full of bugs. I guess I wouldn't buy that one, would you? $12. Mm -hmm. And that's with the cockroaches. We don't charge extra. Wow, that was twelve ninety nine. It's reduced down to five dollars. Oh, bugs in there as well. Bloody hell! Do you get them as gifts and then resell them? Uh, no, I just buy them when I find them places. Oh, like what the them. hell is that? It's an Easter basket. Ah, that's an Easter basket. Mm -hmm. Fucking hell, poor bunny. And how much is that? One dollar. Yep. Well, can you go any lower? Nope. Huh? We don't deal in cents. Ay ay ay, Karen, you're starting to scare me. Seriously, you are a basket case. That's what a good point. <laughs> Honestly, there's dust everywhere up here as well. When was the last time this place was dusted? Uh, theoretically, every day. Every Oh, every day? Yeah. This is my yeah. room named this after is the Potomac river. river. Wow. Bloody hell. Oh, dear. And this is it. Wow. Uh, wow. We have five rooms. This one is 130. Oh. Oops. Oh, shit. <laughs> what? What? What happened it's, there? You're taller than I am. See how he just lays up there on the on top of the... No, see, there you go. The pole's too short, my darling, look. So... There see, you go. <laughs> look, that's there. And this has been here since 2007, and it's never right. fallen down. Oh, really? Flip it now. OK. Oh, oh shit. Oh, OK. Let's leave them there for now. Let's get some light in here. OK, I'm going to unpack and... Yep. Oh. That's private. What do you mean it's private? This is my bedroom. Uh, well, but this is off-limits. It's got a lock on it. It's like a storage closet. But if I'm paying for the room, I'd like to get into my wardrobe. Well, you're not paying for that. You're paying for everything else. Well, then... Really? <laughs> We've got these little things you can put your suitcase on. But in what's in here? My clothes. Your clothes? Mm -hmm. Seriously? Seriously. So it's you... very inconvenient when there are people here and I can't get to my clothes, but I live with it. Um, I want to hang my clothes oh. in my wardrobe. 1840. We, we use hooks. Hooks? Mm-hmm. Uh, why don't you get me a key to open this? I need to hang my, uh, my jacket. Um, you'll just have to use a hook. <laughs> um, once again, this is a rental. You're renting me a room. I'm here to help you, and I'd like to use my wardrobe. Mm -hmm. Can I have a look inside then, please? Because I'm just worried in case you put somebody in there. There you go. <laughs> These are all your clothes? Mm -hmm. Literally all. 
That's it? That's it. Well, there's a few jackets in the wardrobe upstairs. So you have another... Right above wardrobe. us is another room. And another room that you mm -hmm. rent out with a padlock on. Mm -hmm. Come on. You're paying $130 for the owner's clothes to stay in the wardrobe. That's a first for me. Congratulations. I feel really uncomfortable at having my wardrobe full of all your clothes. I'll... I can cover it up, but it stays locked, so you can just ignore it. Can I just have half of this, then? Do you mind? Oh, OK. Um, Shelly? Shelly? <laughs> How much shit can one get <laughs> into the water? Gordon wanted uh, you to bring some of those clothes and things down. Just put them in my office, OK? <laughs> Oh, my. Uh, oh, my. Do you see Karen wearing this stuff? No, Karen wears about two outfits. What do you mean she wears two outfits? I've never seen her in anything other than what she's wearing in denim and beige. It's like garments from the Civil War. And do you ever go through this stuff, Karen? Do you ever think, wow, I'll change colour today, maybe a bright colour with red or blue? Seasonally. Seasonally. Mm -hmm. So this is your fall look now? This is, this is how we head into winter? In the summer, it's usually denim. Or a beige. Denim. OK, so no, no white after Labor Day, then? Never. Never. OK, thank you. Thank you. No problem. <sighs> wow, this is crazy. I mean, I've never met such a basket case like this in all my life. I mean, the place is cluttered. And it's almost like her belongings are everywhere. You turn left or right, there's either a basket or an item of Karen's clothing. What is that? Uh, Pillowcases. What's in here? Looks like a blanket. More baskets. More baskets, of course. My room is cluttered. And here, look at that in there. Oh, my God. Look at all this stuff. Fuck. <laughs> How could you fit all that in there? That is um, definitely chick skill. Where is she? Downstairs in the Ask her to come up with you, please. This is insane. Karen! Yes. Karen? Yes. Uh, look at all this stuff. Shoes, handbags, scarves. Just smell them. Oof. It smells like my shoes. <laughs> but they stink, my darling. They reek. You can't Let smell. Let me smell your shoes. You no, they, smell they, they, smell, they smell like them. Um, like my shoes, yeah. They shouldn't be in my room. Mm -hmm. Well, like I said, in my mind, you rented everything except this wardrobe, which I like. Well, you didn't tell me that when like you took my money. Is. You didn't ask. Uh, and what about these? Those are extra sets of linens. Yeah, but uh, why do I want all them underneath my bed? Now, you don't need to be under the bed, do you? But we'll get this out for you, and I'll just put it downstairs. Right. Please. Unbelievable. I just want to sleep in a room that's not clustered. Oh. Watch your step. Watch out. I have never experienced a place like this before. Dolls, hats, baskets full of bugs, a wardrobe full of the owner's clothes. To be honest, I'm frightened about the meal I'm about to eat. What's that? What is that? That yeah, looks like a little something that. Can I buy this? Absolutely. Chopsticks? Why would you go hiking with a fucking pair of chopsticks? And a little wooden spoon. I'll take that. You can add it to my towel. Brenda, I'm seating um, Gordon. Yes, ma'am. <sighs> right here. I'm going to start you with an ice water, okay? Yes, please. And Brenda's going to be. How for... often does that thing go through? Once an hour at least. Yeah. Any chance it can go through the hotel? No, nah, I wouldn't think so. No. What is going on? Jesus Christ. The town's in of Harpers Ferry, almost heaven. Certainly not my room, that's for sure. Hey, how you doing? How are you, buddy? Hey, all right, good Lamont Johnson. Your um, first name is? Lamont. Lamont, good to see you. What do you do? Uh, a little bit of everything. Big question. Where do you store your clothes? Oh, do I have any of your clothes in my room? Oh, no, no, sir. No, because no, we're the same size. Oh, no. <laughs> Shoes under no, the bed? I promise. No. Toys under the bed? None of mine. Promise me? I promise. Excellent. I, I promise. Yes, sir. Good to see and you. Nice to meet you. Likewise. All right. 
Are you ready? Well, nice to see you. How long have you been here? Two years. Two years. How's it gone? It's a little frustrating sometimes. In which way? Miss Karen is just very chaotic. She's eccentric. Wow. Yeah. We have to knock on her door when we come in and let her know we're here. Right. And sometimes she'll slam the door in your face, or you never know what you're going to get. Really? She, yeah. I've never quite come across an owner uh, that is right, right. so out there. And all this stuff outside. It's is that a home. fridge outside? That's our um, kitchen products. Outside? Outside. Yes. And this fridge here? That is for the owner's stuff. They keep their food in there. Stop it. No. Look, he's going to go look. Oh, my God. Stop. Let me move this. Seriously? Oh, I'm scared. What is that? What is that? What is that? I have no idea. Jesus. I don't know. That is gnarly, huh? Gnarly. He said that's gnarly. So you have your own personal fridge as well? Yeah? Yeah. Outside? Well, there's no room inside. Yeah. OK, and what's that over there? Over there? It, yeah. This is where we store our produce. This is for the restaurant? Yes. Seriously? Look at that. Ugh. Oh, man. I can show you the receipts that we buy. But, but fresh I'm not interested in the receipts. Fresh every week or every season? Yeah. No, touch it. Week. I don't want to touch it. You don't want to touch it? No. But you want to serve it? Karen, look, it's disintegrated I, in my I hands. I don't even want to touch it. More fridges down there? Yeah. This way. Bloody hell. Man. How old are these freezers? This one's Is about this... three years old. No. When was the last time it was defrosted? I don't know. Bloody hell. And all this stuff stays outside? Yeah. Jesus, what's and that's in here? A, a fridge. Uh, so that's more like a fridge. So it's a fridge operating. We use it as a fridge. Mm -hmm. But there's more bread in here. Yeah. Uh, this is how much we need. We keep running out of stuff. You do not need all this. Absolutely impossible. Well, what's I'll that? I'll ask the egg rolls. Egg rolls. Mm -hmm. But you're just hoarding stuff, Karen. And that? Do you smoke? I don't. I've never smoked it's disgusting. in my life. Me neither. I tried when I was 17. Sausage brats. This is insane. You've never smoked cigarettes. Anything else? I graduated from high school in 67 and that kind of marijuana, but I took one puff and it made me sick and I just... All right. Um, you know, I was hungry, but I've sort of uh, lost, lost your appetite. My, uh, let's start off with mac and cheese. OK. What else? The fiesta stew. OK. Uh, let's have a trout as well. A trout. OK. OK. Thanks. I'll get that going. Right back. Oh my God. OK, here's his ticket. OK, look. That's how he ordered it. So mac and cheese. Yeah. Are these yours? Yes. Well, I bought them. Oh, from my store. From your store. <laughs> OK. No wonderful, I like it. Oh. So mac and cheese. Thank you, ma'am. The mac wow. and cheese. That's mac and cheese? That's the mac and cheese. Uh, why is it all split on top? It looks like a soup. It was in the fridge, and then they microwaved it. He's scared to eat it. That is the weirdest and the most plastic-looking mac and cheese I've ever seen in my entire life. There's no seasoning in there. There's no okay, salt. Yeah, please. Absolutely. That deserves to be put under the bed. Mac and cheese. He said it needs to be put under the bed. Yeah. There you go. Thank you. Now we're off to Fiesta Stew. Fiesta Stew. So we have a Mexican-themed stew. Correct. And um, when was the Fiesta Stew made? I can go ask. Please. Hey, Jill, when was the Fiesta stew made? What's the date on it? Let me check. 11 1. Okay. November 1st. Uh, and the, today, today's the 6th. Today's sixth. the 6th. Sixth. Sixth. Yes. So nothing's ever fresh? Mm, never. <laughs> That's terrible. Do you want some hot sauce? No, no, no I'm fine. Okay. I'll, uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I'll move on to the next course. Oh, let me take that away. Okay. When was this uh, caught? Oh. <laughs> Yesterday, a quarter mile away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, trout. And Jeff said he caught it yesterday. So he caught it from the and frozen food section. Correct.
Wow. It's just watery. Mm. How sad is that? OK. Yeah. That's a disaster. Disaster. All right. Disaster trout. It's disaster trout. What's wrong with it? It's watery, and he knows it wasn't caught yesterday or today. <laughs> Sarah, what are you doing? Putting labels, um, magnet labels. What, do not eat? No, I'm putting ice cream. You're putting labels on a freezer to tell the Muppets in the kitchen that that's ice cream in that container. Kieran had asked me to do it. And when you work here, Miss Sarah, do you get paid or are you on the payroll? Oh, no, I'm not on the payroll. It's all volunteer. I visit a lot because I'm semi-retired right now. Also, this is my mini bio. Wow, blood yes, drives. Sir. I run blood drives every two months. Right. Wikipedia editor? Mm-hmm, I've done that. Wow, you write art, travel, tutor, acronyms. You teach Greek. I do. Inspire, loyalty. <laughs> You're a busy lady. Yes, sir. And then, um... And then I run circles around naughty problems. So, um, I run circles around naughty problems. Yeah, like, well, if there's something that needs to be figured out, I yeah. try and figure out a way to solve the issue. How about but... a big circle around Karen? I try to do that. I may have just a quick look at the labels. And any other any other labels? Sure, cheesecake, just things. Chicken breasts, guacamole, veggie burgers, tortillas. And you just stick them on the side of the freezer. Yes. Let me tell you what you should be making a sign. That's the only thing that should go on there. Do not enter. Ooh, that's brutal. Can you put that on a magnet and stick that on each freezer and one on Miss Karen's fridge as well? Thank you. Fuck me. The town's inn is much worse than I expected. The owner not only has a hoarding problem with her clothes, but she's doing the same with her food. Um, Lamont. Yes, sir. Why are you taking these? Uh, she wanted me to remove these until she can but find I, something else to do with I only it. took out one bag uh, in my wardrobe. Where's the rest of them from? Um, I have no idea. No. I just noticed she had clothes upstairs, and she asked me to move them. <laughs> Lamont, seriously? Mm-hmm. Go and get her for me, please. Sir. Holy shit. I mean... <laughs> Sir, <laughs> he said he want to talk to you. Okay. Miss Karen. Yes. Is this, is this all yours? That's what came from what? out of the wardrobe. Another wardrobe. No, 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 the one that you emptied. No, I had one bag full of stuff. No, this but, is the stuff that was in the black wardrobe but, in your room. But where's this stuff going now? To his basement till I can sort his it out. His basement. Mm-hmm. Because yeah. I don't have any place to store it here. What is it? It's my clothes. clothes. Her clothes. The things that came out of the black wardrobe that we keep locked up in the Potomac room. <laughs> <laughs> Do you ever ask Where yourself that? if you have a problem holding on to things? <laughs> have you ever heard of the word hoarder? <laughs> Miss Karen, this is your business. <laughs> this is your hotel, not your junk shop. Mm -hmm. Can you get the team out from the kitchen? I'd like to have a quick word with you all in the terrace. Yes, sir. Um, good luck with that stuff. Yes, sir. Yeah? Yes, sir. Uh, Miss Thank Karen, you. can we meet the team on the yes, terrace? Sir. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six bags. You want to check the things for bugs as well. I'm in shock. Are you joining us, Miss Sarah, yes, or are you sir. still writing labels? No, I'm not writing labels. No, anymore. let's go. I arrive, the facade on the outside looks beautiful. I walk through the door and it's just like a cluster of shit. Crap everywhere. Moldy bread in a reception, freaky dolls, up to the bedrooms that's like just hideous. Wardrobe's packed with clothes from 30 years ago. And I had to ask Miss Karen to get rid of the padlock so I can open up the wardrobe uh, and put my clothes in there. Honestly, the place is just ridden with, with this. It's just like a hoarder's anonymous. Obviously, I needed a place to put my clothes, and so that was where I, I put them. You can't just hive off a wardrobe because it's full of your crap. Like you I said, I've... Um... It's just a storage area. No, but it's not a storage, a storage area. It's just like your fridge yeah. downstairs. This place is played with junk on top of junk. Freezers, overbearing, overfull. And as for the disgusting way that the fridge is kept with the mouldy salad, there's salad that's festered and it's like, it's almost sort of disintegrating the center, rotten. 
Can I just quickly go on the size of the menu? It's too big. The kitchen's about as big as my wardrobe. It's too. It's. But why are you telling me that when the owner's standing next to you? I told her that, told but her. we 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 have told her. Mm. She won't listen. Mac and cheese all separated. Every mouth was full of grease because it was so cooked in the microwave. And that's the way we do it. People say that we we got the best food in town and the freshest. Oh, stop there. Now you're sounding slightly oh, bizarre. Just... The best food in town. Are you okay? Well, it depends on how you define okay. I'm okay by, sure? by my standards. But mac and cheese, I mean, come on. You know, what, what are you looking for now? Are you taking Wait, notes? Yeah. Are you taking notes? Yeah, you're making some good what? points. And you're laughing. What's so funny then? Help me to understand. I don't have anything to do with the food. So, I don't know what you're doing. I've got no idea what you're doing. What I ask her to, basically. So she does what you say? She, she helps me, yeah. Jeff, is this correct? I tell them to do one thing, and Sarah tells them to do one thing. Miss Sarah tells you what, she just... And... She says she's a volunteer. She tells my crew what to do, and it pisses me off. I get, I get mad, then they blame it on but me. She's because... got no authority to do that. I know. Jeff, but... you've never talked to me about this. I have told Wait you. A I have told you about oh, this. Is this is this true? Is this where you treat the staff? Nothing more humiliating to the team that are on the ground, keeping this place open, and then a stranger comes in and tells them what to do. Well, she's not a stranger. She's been coming to here. To them, she is because she's not exactly qualified to run this place. This is so screwed up. This is bizarre. Ain't nobody hearing me what I'm saying. And what kind of message are you sending? The menu needs to be down. A menu like this? There must be 50 items on there, which 49 of them are oh. turfed out of the bloody freezer. This place is so messed up. It's a mess, a disgusting, festering mess. Oh, you ain't seen nothing yet. I don't know. I'm just so fucking embarrassed. I know. I know. So far, I've learned that not only does Karen hoard items, but she's also a controlling owner. Tonight, I want to see how the town's inn operates during the evening. How are you? Good. And your name is? My name is Tyler. Tyler, what do you do? Um, I'm a server. OK, great. Tyler, and hello. Hi, I'm Gage. Gage, nice what are you two doing out here? We are both servers. Sorry, Come in so I can talk to you. Where's the best time. place to hang this? I can hang it for you, sir. I mean, uh, if we didn't have these filthy hats laying around. I know. Why do we have filthy hats in the hallway? Mm, looks like so, a, it looks like a thrift shop, sir. Thrift shop. How old are you guys? I am 17. I am also 17. 17. Objectively, what's wrong with this place? Well, I think that we're not well organized. I also think that we need to work on cleanliness. Cleanliness? Yes. Wow, is it that bad? It can be. Uh, so what do you think is dirty? Well, uh, honestly, <laughs> uh, probably the kitchen and uh, some of Why the Why are you going under the mat like that? What, 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 you what? asked what was dirty, so I mean, common things that we try to clean every day that we can't always keep an eye on. Show me where the kitchen is, please. Yeah? OK. Thank you. This what happened here? Sarah likes to paint on the walls sometimes. Hello. Hello. Hi. What's this mess here? This is a painting, and I A didn't... what? A painting? Yes, Looks like sir? someone shat all over the wall. <laughs> is that hygienic? You're painting the walls of the kitchen? I have no idea. I you have no idea. So why did you do it? The town's end became Sarah's town's end, even though she had nothing to do with owning the establishment. Karen, did you see the mess in the kitchen? She's painted the wall. Let me show you something. Just oh, in here. Yeah. 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 Have, yeah. have you seen it? Yes. It's one of my favorite things. You don't it's like it? It's one of your favorite things. No, seriously. <laughs> I'm live, maybe not well. Did you see the mural in the dining room? What? That is a children assist in guests. That's unique, isn't it? What is that? Well, it started as a crack in the wall, and I asked Sarah to make a vine. Is there anywhere else you've painted? There is a... Uh... In my room. You show me, please. What have you done to my wall? This and is so weird. You paint over cracks. I Look know. at this here. I know, and this apparently is something new that is falling apart. Wow. I mean... It must be wet. 
Wet, it's soaking wet. The plaster's just... Whoa. <laughs> These are bits of card. That's correct. It was a temporary fix. So it's not a mural. It's business cards. You put your cards on here and then you paint over the cards. You should make a label for this. Decaying wall. Do not paint over it. I mean... What? what? The wall's rotten and you just go and paint over it. It was meant as a temporary fix. The wall is rotten. You're right. And you just paint over it. You can't just go filling cracks with tacky painting. Look at it down here. You've gone over cracks and holes. Look. Jeez. Ah. Uh, what's that in there? Um, I put some sort of a mesh because it was uh, a hole and I didn't want anything to come through it. Jesus. I wish you wouldn't use that word. What? Hole? What do you want me to sing? Fucking hallelujah. That'd be better. <coughs> <coughs> can you get me Karen? I can get you Karen. Please? Jesus. Watch your language, sir. What in the fuck? Miss Karen. <gasps> oh my goodness. Well, the whole thing just started coming off. The wall needs repairing and she's just painting over it. And then secondly, she found a big hole here, started putting her cards on there, and then painted over that. Mm -hmm. But inside the hole, oh, Jesus. <laughs> this is not a paper mache. <laughs> what is she doing to your hotel? It and didn't then... go outside. I mean, it's not a hole to the outside. It's not a hole in the outside? No. What does no. that mean? The stone wall is out there. Oh, we're sleeping on the inside. We're not sleeping on the outside. Right. So you're not going to get any cold drafts or anything through there. So it's just like I don't get to use the wardrobe and the hole's on the inside, not on the outside, and we can just do whatever we want. Oh, it's She's solid. stuffing... It's really solid. It needs and it's replastering. Stone out there. Yeah, we can't just paint over that. Well, you can. You we did, but... And then stick Brillo pads in a hole. You can't just band-aid this place. Oh, my good gosh. I just wash my hands. An order of French bread as an app. All right. Um, what is that there? A sports bar? Are these TV screens? What are those? Microwaves. microwaves. How many microwaves have you got? Well, there's four, four here and one in there, and that's five. There's five one microwaves. In there. There's one in there. And two chefs. Two chefs. Oh, my God. Everywhere I turn, there's just junk everywhere. Well, this is cooking stuff. Trust me, I know what cooking stuff is. This is not cooking stuff. <laughs> OK. How does this kitchen function? Give me a little tour. It's, it's very challenging. It's very, very challenging. What's that in there? That's a burger that I'm heating up. A boil? Yeah. You're boiling a burger? I'm just heating it back up. When you say heating it back up, why aren't you cooking it from fresh? We make them ahead of time. This is what we got here. We don't... A boiled burger? Are you aware the burgers are boiled? Um, no. Do you think a customer would want a burger boiled in water? They seem to like them. Just taste the water. Oh, do I have to? I'm going to say, <laughs> it's funny, not... you won't taste it. Well, OK, well, I just... Tastes like water with beef in it. That seems OK. When they fix it up on a nice Kaiser roll with lettuce, tomato, onion... Oh, come on. I need a tong, please. I need a set of Ah, oh, shit. No, this is a joke. This oh, yeah. is terrible. Every Boiled day. burger. I'm appalled to learn that the town's inn boils pre-cooked burgers. Oh, Brenda, here, well, just show me the table with the burger. And what's more frustrating is how Karen doesn't think there is anything wrong with that. Come with me two seconds. I'm going to quickly show you something. Perfect. Let me take, take that. Me? Absolutely. So that's your burger. Out of respect as a customer, yeah. uh, I'm not going to sit and watch you eat that shit. Let me show you. So, this is the chef? Yes. Can you just explain how you cook that? We pre-cook it. No, start from the top, please. I'm we, not going to let you eat that. We um, pre-cook them. You made the burger when? Um, Gio, when were them burgers made? Yesterday, I believe. Yesterday. Just explain how you reheated them for the gentleman. I reheated them, I put, I put water in there, and I put the burger in there. Were you expecting a fresh burger or some yeah, shit? We need you from yesterday. Fresh, yes. I will give you a fresh burger. My okay? apologies. Sir. Thank you. I'm sorry, sir. Okay. This ticket refused their food. Okay. Young man. Out of respect for our guests, take the ladies outside and show whether we keep the freezers again. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, just bear with us for two minutes, but yes. we're just going to show you something I'd, I'd like done. you to see. Yes. 
So just follow me. This is just right down here. Watch your. Out here? Yes. Um, right here next to the trash, yes. Um, this, this is our lasagna. This is our trout. We got more sausage, ice cream. These are your egg rolls right there. So I just have frozen egg rolls from here. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. We've got two freezers and everything's scattered. Very cluttered. I mean, Karen has always uh, looked at this as her home. Obviously, it is embarrassing, but it's a serious situation that needs to be solved. You okay? Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. It's okay. But I think I, I just canceled my order. My apologies. I discovered that today, and I, out of respect for you as customers, I can't sit here and fake you eating that shit. So I'm hoping that you can skip around the menu and order something a little bit more. Thank you. Keeping. My apologies. Thank you. Thank you so much. Didn't you have purple glasses earlier? Yeah. They, they are. Changed. Oh, that is so cool because they look like they're dark brown or black. Oh, did I have yeah, the light? Black. That is so cool. This is insane. Yeah. Sarah claims to work at the Townsend. Here's a free postcard for everybody. When I go to serve tables, she'll randomly show up. We'll talk to tables. Um, I've seen her frustrate people. Sarah. No. Miss Sarah. Is someone calling me? I have to go. No. Me. Bye. Yes, sir. They don't need to hear your life story. They want to sit and have a romantic drink on the terrace. Leave them alone. Okay, I'm, I'm leaving. In and out. There are okay. other tables. Man. Okay, we're going to need a rotisserie chicken. That's the rotisserie chicken. You get it from the freezer. Yep. Disgusting. Playing the rotisserie chicken, please. Show the table. Yeah. This is the dish of the day. It's our rotisserie chicken. It was roasted six months ago in a grocery store, and we're serving it for twelve dollars. On the menu, it's got rotisserie chicken. Yeah. You Cut buy them. them at a grocery store. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you freeze them, and you reheat them in the microwave. Not in the microwave. It went in the microwave. What is going on here? Well, we have a menu and. We just do it. I mean, no, it's just pathetic. How many of your guests tonight think that their chicken's been roasted in house? Maybe half. Let's just let me come in and let's, mm -hmm. let's double check. Ladies and gentlemen, so sorry, I can just have your attention for 30 seconds. How many of you, if you're going to order the roast chicken this evening, would expect it to be fresh roasted in house? Could you raise your hands, please? I think it's everybody. A lot of people say it's it's good. I no. agree that it no, should these, be. They, 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 these yeah. guests have come out of their homes to come yeah. and eat. What I'm not going to do is attempt to pull the wool over their eyes because they deserve to know what's going on. The burgers were cooked yesterday, reheating a pan, boiling them in water, and I'm flabbergasted. So you need to take a real good look at yourself and stop bullshitting customers immediately. Otherwise, I'm out of here. I'm so sorry, but you, as customers, deserve better. And this has nothing to do with the TV program. I, I promise you now, it's based on the bad practices that's going on in that kitchen. So my apologies, but I'm not going to allow you to eat. You're not going to act responsible for it. I will. We're shutting it down. We're shutting it down. You just sent everybody home. Stop. Stop. That is possibly the worst thing I've seen so far. How do you reheat that? In the microwave. In the microwave. It doesn't even hit an oven. But we used to cook them fresh, right? So what, what I changed? I wasn't here. Yeah, so what happened? Stop. I'm not serving it. Stop. What happened? Ask Karen. I ain't the one that bought the chickens. Uh, I have a rather have a rotisserie thing back here. I can have fresh chicken. We need but new equipment. This is what it's resulted in. Yeah. This is what we're serving. You can't buy this from a grocery store. No, you can't. Sprinkle it with pasta and expect to call yourselves a restaurant. I know what you I know what you're saying. And you just, like a butterfly, fly around just painting all little bits of shit over holes. This is insane. I'm done. I'm I'm upset. I'm I'm feeling sick. And I've never seen such a disgusting mess in all my fucking life. It's embarrassment to you, 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 and me. And I'm not going to stand there and watch you surf shit like that and take customers' money. What is this? I eat them often, the rotisserie. You they... eat them often? Mm -hmm. What does that say? I guess it's just that I don't. What does that mean to you? You eat this crap often. Come on. You're running a hotel. 
The burgers were cooked yesterday. Well, when I ate them, and I always tell them they tasted good to me. Oh, God. So. Where's the burgers that you cooked? Down here, sir. Get them. I, my understanding is he pat in the mouth and then put them in the oven. How long for? For about 15, 20 minutes. 15, 20 minutes in an oven. How many of your customers expect burgers to be cooked like that? Baked in the oven for 20 minutes, so there's no color on there. Cooled down, stuck in a Ziplocker bag, out, boiled in water. Should we go and do another survey? What's 80% Chuck? In, it's just you're a hamburger. In denial. You are seriously in denial. Miss Sarah, would you like a bite? No, thank you. Why not? It's not cooked right. Well, should I boil it up for you and get it warm? What color is that? It's white. That's what frustrates me. We're all pretending that this is good. I thought that's what the cooks... No. I mean... Come on. Not, I mean, I'm not trying to blame it on the cooks, you but... You can't blame it on me because ain't nobody hearing me. I'm amazed you're not shut down. Freezers lined up next to a dumpster. What lives outside in those passageways next to dumpsters? Bat, rats, and alley cats. Yeah, bats, rats, and mice. You are in denial. You have a big problem. You've got no idea that this place is crumbling. And you're just going through the motions. Mr. Ramsey, my guests want to leave. Your guests want to leave? Yes. That's the best thing I've heard all day. Can I fucking join them? Bye. Bye. Are we serving food at all? Should I let them Young leave? Man. And we're in danger of even being shut down by the health authorities. And there is no fucking way I'm going to stand there yes, sir. and watch this shit being yes. reheated and served. So sorry, we're not moving forward. <laughs> you got to tell me that this is a good chicken. I've eaten it, like I said, yeah. This is crazy. You can't not go to the store and buy stuff and resell it. Can't I? Aren't you aware of what you're doing? Do you actually care? Yes, You I do, do care. Which part of this hotel do you care? Every part. This is how delusional you are, that this is a good chicken. What's in this one here? Stuff that we... Microwave? Yes, yes. What's that? Eggplant. So everything's just reheated in the microwave? Yes. Yes. We're in danger of being shut down by the health authorities. I'm sorry, folks. Basically, I take responsibility. I'm sorry. I'm very ashamed and... I am fed up from not being heard. It doesn't matter what I say. Karen is going to do what she want to do. What's going on? Cord, I'm just, I don't have no help, man. I told her she won't listen. You can't perform like this. I can't. I, I can only. I can't. You can't. I you just, can't. It's, 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 you're gonna get fucking arrested. I, I won't get arrested. Put in jail for killing some damn body. I, Gordon, this is the worst restaurant I ever worked in in my life. Practices are the problem. Right. The sort of. The way that everyone's walking around in denial. They are, but I'm there's not. No, but there's no standards, though. You're not maintaining a level that they yeah. deserve. Yeah, I know that. I know that, Cheryl. So why have you become like a zombie and following her motions? I'm not. I was, I'm trying to fix it. Have you it. given up? No, I have not given up. I have not given up. You're just as bad as she is if you don't put your foot down and say no. I tell her no. No, 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 no. And she keeps on doing it. Someone needs to draw a line. I have drawn a line. It doesn't matter. I can only do so much, Gordon. This is not my place. Uh, my apologies, ladies and gentlemen. I'm so sorry. Sorry. What a joke. Have you seen any of this stuff going on here? Do you have any idea what's going on? What's this? Pre-cooked bacon. Pre-cooked from when? It's dated. They, they do but it every day, just about. Right? No, they don't. When was that cooked? That's not today. If they did, honestly, let's see what it says, 1031. We're in November the 6th now. 
This is insane. Look at that in there. Don't you drain that, or it just sits there in its blood? And in here? That's a freezer. What is that? What's that noise? That's the fan. What a nightmare. <sighs> and Karen, you've got no idea that this is going on like this? What is that in there? That's dishwater. No, that's french fries in there. Fries? Why is the water so dirty? Nobody didn't change it. Sorry? Nobody didn't change it, sir. Well, you're cooking fries from there tonight in that water. I saw them fill up the fryer twice. It sucks. Where'd you get the ham from? She bought it at the store. Holy crap. It's a spiral cut. They cut it and put it in here. And then uh, use it for side of ham for breakfast. When was the last time this was clean? Uh, last year when I cleaned this, chef. Last year when we cleaned the oven. We're in November. Last year. Yes, sir. I asked Karen, I said, Karen, we need to shut down to be we we gotta we gotta do maintenance. Look at the mess. Why have you let it go like this? I didn't know that they were doing things that were not Karen, that proper. You... No, but let, listen to me, Jeff. This is the bullshit the guy, okay? Let's tell him the truth here, okay? I asked for some new equipment. I can't get no new equipment. Why not? I've been here for four years. I've been asking for new equipment. I can't work with this shit here. Look, look at that. I'm fucking pissed. I've been asking for this. I asked for new equipment. How long do you think this shit's gonna last? It ain't gonna last forever. I'm just so fucking fed up with every damn thing. I can't get no help. Me and Jill pulled you out of this. And now I asked for some help for some equipment that you can't spend on it, but... But this is working, and that's auctions. working. Look at this shit. Look at this. <laughs> Part of the damn line. I'm just so fucking fed up with every damn thing. Look at this shit. Look at this. Part of the damn line. You can't expect to work in this. Are you greedy with the money? I'm in debt. I'm barely breaking even. Let's get real. They're at their wits' end. They're done. They're finished, and they're a spent force. I've been cooking for 20 years, and I never had this problem. We have to step up. I mean, look at the kitchen. It's atrocious. Look at this here. Would you work in this? I do. <laughs> um, it's so funny with you. No, it's not funny. I do but I laugh. Look at the mess. Can't do it all. You own this place. But I delegated the restaurant to them. But and Karen, then... the bottom line is you have no idea how to yeah. run a restaurant, and all you're doing now is blaming the staff you put no, in there. No, no, I'm just... No, but they're taking yeah. the heat, yeah. and I, your I... problems aren't their problems, but they become yeah. their problems because look at the mess. Well, you don't even that's... think there's a problem. That's there what worries me. Practices are so bad. That's what I try to say. Why has it got this bad? You have to take responsibility. You're ignorant, oblivious, and delusional. I'll do what I can do. It's not good enough. I'm going to my room. Excuse me. I've seen enough shit for one night. Oh, man. Fucking hell. Thank God somebody else sees it other than us. This is what we deal with on every day. It's nothing different. I lost different. my damn hat. It's in there. I'll find it. I know where you threw it. You know, we could have done this without Ramsey. I mean, no. anybody can... No, not with her, not Jeff, with her. I don't have, I, what do I spend on myself? Now, I'm doing the best I can. I borrowed money and went out and bought more refrigerators. Then, oh, we need freezers. I know I care, I know I, uh, why, So don't. Why didn't we just tone down the menu? The menu is 
what you all do. You could have told me that these are the things we I need to do and this is why. I will tell you, Jeff, I have no stake in that menu. I thought that's what you and Jill wanted. No, that's well, not then it. We I wanted just to have to agree down. to disagree me, then. And Jeff, until you get your way. You work hard. I agree. No, I'm just saying. But over the year, you have averaged 44 hours a week. No, that's, I'm not, I'm not and you're paid for a manager. That. No, no, I'm that's just not saying. That many hours. No, Karen, no, I'm not even talking about that. Jeff. Yeah, but that, that's. I'm listening, Jeff. You're not hearing me, Karen. What a mess. I mean, one of the worst dates of a kitchen hotel in I've ever seen in my entire career. Also, a owner that is delusional, and she's convinced herself that the place is run properly, and, you know, I'm really uneasy about just being in here. The smell is appalling. Everything feels dirty and just... And I'm not convinced that even the bathrooms are that clean. I'm gonna run a quick test. Quick bacteria test. There's a communal bathroom that I am uncertain about. When this thing reads 30, it indicates that it's a sort of um, a, a decent level of hygiene. Basically, it's clean. Anything over 30, then it gets into the danger zone. <sighs> this is where the smell is really bad in here. There's crap everywhere. It's just so unhygienic. Mm -hmm. Don't do that. I just want to. Clean. To get a good reading, rub the swap underneath the mat. The smell under here is appalling. In these crevices, there's dirt. That's gross. That's gross. That is disgusting. Snap it, let the liquid go down. Give that a shake. In. Holy crap. No. No. I'm unconvinced that this place is clean. Everything smells. It's very difficult for you to identify the smell, but in here, it really stinks. So, just... It's just a smell from here. It stains everywhere. And what scares me is the fact that the kitchen Took a year to get cleaned. God knows what this tub so pretty gross. Now, pop that in there. I'm not sure when this place was cleaned properly. In. Oh my God. Karen. Is Karen in here? Karen. Just come upstairs, please. Two seconds. Please, let's go. Quick. Come in. I've just done a swab test with the carpet. I told her the smell is gross. Anything above 30, you're in the danger zone for unhygienic practices. And it's not fit for customers. What do you think the reading is? 100. 100. 50. 50. 60. 70. 70. 803. 803. Oh my god. Oops. 803. Oops. Burn it. That's not an oops. That's no. a oh no. 803. <laughs> wow. This is just the carpet. You can't be that bad. We get a lot of bikers, bicyclists, Karen, and hikers. You're paying $130 get out of bed and step on a disgusting, stinking carpet. It smells like there's crap all over the floor. Probably because there's crap on the floor. Probably, could be. What does that mean, could be? My first shift here, you were in the bathroom and I think you had an accident on the floor, on the mat. What? Oh my God. I mean, yeah. There have been times when I have had diarrhea, but it doesn't happen very often. But, um, no, I, I didn't realize that there was that problem. Fucking hell. All day, both of you have been in denial. Not one of you told me about the problems. Not one of you taken any formal responsibility. You were happy to serve that food to me lunchtime. You were happy to mosey around and piss around on the walls and paint silly pictures. This is a travesty. This is shocking. 
Your staff knows it, but you two are oblivious. But the rest of the room is dusted and clean. It is. What? It's not, he's, not focus, he's not talking about the room. It's not about the rug. It's not about the food. It's about the whole picture. Look at the mm -hmm. cage. You're yelling. Am I not allowed to yell, Sarah? Because someone has to, because you're not. He's trying here to help us. Stop being in denial. It's not about the rug and this perfectly dusted thing that this is not going to make a difference. The whole picture, the whole thing. What are you scared of, Karen, admitting? Well, I'm working 16 hours but, a day yeah, and spending every time and money. That. These are rooms, too, that I get positive yes. feedback about. Oh, my god. I'm, I'm serious. A lot of positive. There you go again. No, you can't be that. No. No, I, no, I, I, I want to these things. I am not sleeping in this dump. I'm done. I'm out of here. Oh, man. You can't leave. I'm not staying in here. Ramsey, don't go. Karen, this is a travesty that you're paying $130 to get out of bed and step on a disgusting, stinking carpet. You're in the danger zone for unhygienic practices and it's not fit for customers. We get a lot of bikers, bicyclists Karen. and hikers. What are you scared of, Karen, admitting? Well, I'm working 16 hours but, a day yeah, and but spending that's your excuse. every time you fall back on that. These are rooms, too, that I get positive yes. feedback about. Oh, my god. I'm, I'm serious. A lot of positive. There you go again. No, you can't be that. No. No, I, and no, I, I, I want to fix things. I am not sleeping in this dump. I'm done. I'm out of here. Oh, man. You can't leave. Ramsey, don't go. I'm not staying in here. Is this your office in here? That's my living quarters in my office. Your yeah. what? I live there. You live in here? Yeah. Let what? me show you. What? I saw the office sign on the door, but you live in here? Right here. This is my bed. I just uh, sleep here. Like this. Are you kidding me? Every night you sleep in here? Yes. Is there a mattress there? No, it's just quilts, cover on them, sheets. You sleep on a board? Mm-hmm. In the winter, I could go upstairs, but I choose not to. I choose to stay here. And which bathroom do you use and shower? And I use the ones upstairs. Mm hmm What's the room next door? Oh, that's the beverage area. And then beyond that's the kitchen. The beverage area? Mm hmm The keg is right on... The kegerator is right on the other side there. And then that's the beverage that's cooler the, right oh there. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. So I, I sort of sleep in the kitchen. This is crazy. I love it here. There's no place in the world I would rather be. You're not doing one thing right. You have lost it completely. And you've convinced yourself, in amongst the chaotic mess that you live in, that it's all right. It's not. It's absurd. This is no way for a lady to sleep and live and eat. You shouldn't be living in a kitchen. It's not even a fan or an air-conditioned room. And it's true. a tiny cubby hole yeah. cluttered with your junk. Are you OK? I think so. I mean... This is not normal. Well, what's normal in... What's normal? Seriously. I can't even start to think about helping you when you're in such denial. Mm. The next morning, I woke up not wanting to give up on the town's inn, seeing how bad the kitchen was and learning that it wasn't clean for over a year. I hired a professional cleaning crew to not only declutter, but to scrub down the kitchen as well. Crap everywhere. Good morning. 
Uh, morning. Not about being good. Um, well, could be better, could be worse. Yes. So were you, were you sleeping? Ah, uh, I was. I've got a headache. I don't You've know why. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I've got a headache since I've arrived. Uh, I'm still unconvinced where I'm going with you and this business. However, I want you to do something. All right. Something that you haven't done properly in a long time. And take that. Yes. And start packing. Ah. Uh, where I'm am not, I going to go? Not, I'm not messing around. I haven't got time to mess around. OK, but we're... Don't worry about that. I just want you to start packing All up. All right. Quickly. I've got enough boxes. I'm moving fast. You know how fast. important this is, yeah? I do. No, I'm... Time is of the essence. I need you to start packing. And I'm... I'm sorry. Start packing quickly. I'm worried about Karen not listening to me, and I don't think she realises just how bad the business really is. I reached out to her son, Jason, the majority owner of the inn, who has the most to lose if Karen fails to turn it around. Jason, how are you? I'm doing well, thanks. Yourself? Yeah, very well, thank you. Jason Townsend, yeah, nice likewise. to meet you. Can I take a seat? Uh, first of all, what a beautiful place. Yeah, I mean, it really is. Gorgeous. Yeah. I've fallen in love with this area uh, beyond belief. Um, unfortunately, I haven't fallen in love with the inn. I'm shocked at the setup and what's happening to your mum currently. Yeah. Do you have any idea how bad it is? I think I have a sense, but obviously I'm not here on a daily, regular basis, so I yeah. don't appreciate the in and outs of it. She's in denial. I'm trying to explain things to her uh, in a very calm way, and she's just refusing point blank to understand the logic. I think her, her vision has been both her blessing and her curse in the sense of it's what's allowed her to drive through this and persevere, but it's also what puts her in denial. Have you seen where she sleeps? Yeah. Does that make you feel happy? Not at all, not at all. I mean, we bought this with two main motivations, to let her develop this end business, but also have it as grandma's house, and it's not. We went into this looking at it as, as obviously we want it to be some type of investment, but we didn't have a particular game plan beyond just rent out the space to mom, and we want to see it do well, not just to make money, but so that she really can have a life here. And it's just been triage since day one. That's no way to live. No. Has this become a burden on your family now? Or because... Yes, it has. It's because we're concerned for, for her. Uh, it, it, it's a financial burden. This lady wasn't your mother and she was renting from your property, you'd be a lot more severe in the way that place has been handled. We all bought this in part with, uh, with our hearts and not just our heads. And it's, it's that balance between wanting to respect her desires to, to, to make this business what she wants it to be, but also realize that if it's not gonna be a, a profitable business and if there's gonna be a cost, not just financially, but physically and emotionally, we need to, we need to shut it down. Now, this is your mum. You know, this is not a cousin or a niece or a nephew. This is your mum, so um, she needs to hear that. It's affecting you personally, financially. It could drag your family down. You're not her safety net. Yeah. I need you to have a word with her and how we're not prepared to move forward unless she's going to commit to change. I'm talking long-term change. Mm -hmm. She needs help, yeah. and she needs help urgently. I think I overloaded this one. After spending time this morning with Karen's son, we both agree, in order for the business to succeed, he needs to confront his mum that a major change needs to happen. Well, Karen, um, first of all, um, I spent this morning catching up with Jason. Oh, OK, good. And just trying to get him up to speed with what I've been discovering. Mm -hmm. You know I'm not happy. And I think deep down inside that you can't be happy in this current existence. So I want you to listen to Jason. As you know, we've been talking a lot about what's going on here, why we're here, mm -hmm. what we want with the business. Mm -hmm. You're my mom, but you're also my, my tenant. And so I have two main goals and objectives with this place. And uh, one is, is a financial one mm -hmm. uh, for your sake, for my sake, for our family's sake. And then my second objective is to um, encourage and support you and your life. You're not just an innkeeper, you're my mom, you're, you're a grandma. And for us to enjoy all those things, we have to, I think, make some changes here. It's not sustainable financially, 
emotionally and, and, and physically. I just don't see the business in such a negative light as you do. I, I look out my but window. But you realize most people I, do, yeah. I, I look out my window, and there's the Potomac River and the train station. You can't see out the window, my darling. Oh, I can't. The place is full Above of it. Okay. But even even the bags of clothes yesterday, and mm -hmm. now the boxes of clutter. People don't live like this. You, you, you have to get out of there, and you have to start living your life completely different to what you've been doing. I'm not here for three months, Karen. I'm here for a short time mm -hmm. to give you everything I've got to get this place fixed. And if you can't listen to Jason and you're not prepared to listen to me, I'm not asking you any we're, longer. We're all working for the same goal here. I, yeah. I'm listening. I, I, I'm mm -hmm. telling you, it needs to stop. For your sake, for my sake, for our family's sake, I can't keep renting the house out to you if we can't get a business that is consistently profitable. The place is in jeopardy and there's not one element functioning properly. And your business is gonna take Jason's family down if you don't sort this out. Um, I don't wanna burden my children at all. So that, that is something that is high priority for me. But you have to come to terms with yourself that it's broken, it's wrong, and you have to change. I, and I'm willing. Whatever you propose, I'll try. Otherwise, it's game over. Let's move forward. I'm agreeing to help. I'm going to put a plan in place. But uh, you, you can't continue the way you're doing it. You know that. Thank you, Jason. Thank you, Gordon. Thank you. Do you know what his plan is? I have an idea. After Karen packed up her belongings, I had my team start the renovation process while I found a place close by for Karen to move into. Hi, Karen. Are you well? I'm very well, thank you. Good. Let's step mm -hmm. inside. Something I'd like to uh, All right. show you. Come in, please. What a lovely place. Do you like it? I do. What do you like about it? Um, well, it's not cluttered. <laughs> it's not cluttered, is it? Yes, I like that. When I saw where you've been living for the last 12 months, mm -hmm. I was appalled. You shouldn't be going to bed on a piece of wood. I know. You shouldn't be doing that. If we're going to make a change, then you have to step back. I and I mean step back from the business. Mm -hmm. And that means giving yourself some space. So I've done something. Mm -hmm. and I'm paying for it out of my own pocket, and I've rented this space for you for the next couple of months. Okay. Two months. Two months, okay. Two That's months. great. Give yourself a break. You can relax, watch a bit of TV. I haven't had a television since 1993, so this is really a big change, yeah. So, since 1993. Well, even if you're not going to watch TV, mm -hmm. read. Oh, relax that's what I can do. and just mm -hmm. take in the view. Mm -hmm. And if you decide to move back in there and you convert one of the rooms and it's got an ensuite bathroom, that's all fair and well. But then you need to separate the difference, mm -hmm. not in a box. I like this. I feel comfortable here. Uh, have a look upstairs. There's a, a beautiful bedroom there okay. and a full size bed. All right. <laughs> There's a ensuite bathroom and I see. a wardrobe to yes. yourself. Big bathroom. Very nice. I could go to sleep right now. Wake me up in two hours. We've got work to do. Oh, OK. All right. <laughs> that, that was comfortable. Um, Karen, you need to, you need to start thinking about being a boss, being an owner. With that comes certain responsibilities. What was it like for you to be an owner? What, what, what's the important? Well, the important thing was serving the guest and trying to nurture a good relationship with my employees. Right, that means setting an example, yes? Yes. And being the face of the inn. Yes. Right. What do you think is the most important 
thing about being the face of a business. It's having a presence. Yes. Standing out like an owner. Okay. You need to walk this historic town looking like an innkeeper, polished. Okay. Now, I feel bad about asking a lady to glamorize herself, <laughs> so I'm not trying to be detrimental. It's just, okay. I'm going to send you off for a makeover. Okay. When was the last time you went and had a facial, got your hair done, and bought a new dress with a, a bright color? I don't think I've done that since I was 13 years old. When was the last time you went for a blow dry? Never. I mean, I. I have a blow dryer, but I, I never go to a salon. Right. Mm -mm. When's the last time you had your nails done? Never. Mm -mm. Never? Correct. And that was never a priority for me, oh, but you're, you're But we're going to make it. Yeah, we're going to make it a priority mm -hmm. because it's about you. Mm -hmm. It's a business. You have to front it, and that, mm -hmm. that comes with an image. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad you're up for change. I want you to feel better. I want you to enjoy your life. I want you to appreciate what your team can do for you and hopefully just break the mold a little bit. 100%. You happy with this? I'm ready to enjoy Good. it. Mm -hmm. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Uh, I have a security deposit here, so it's a rental. Okay. No murals. All right, yeah? we'll leave it the way we found it. Thank you. See you shortly. All the best to you. Yeah. Do you want me to turn on the TV for you or not? Uh, not yet. <laughs> I'm going to take this one step at a time. YouTube? Um, I've seen a few things on YouTube, right. yeah. Mm -hmm. Instagram? Never. But my granddaughter is teaching me. Selfie? Taking a picture of myself? Oh, never. Uh-uh. Tinder? I don't even know what that is. <laughs> Welcome to the dark ages. Enjoy. <laughs> This was one of the toughest makeovers my team has ever taken on. We had not only moved Karen out of the town's inn, but packed up all her clutter before transforming the space. Good morning. How are you feeling? Excited. 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 The sun is shining, and there seems to be a new, bright breath of fresh air on the town's inn. We're missing somebody. Karen. We are. She's been busy over the last 24 hours. I'm hoping you notice a change. Oh, my God. I don't even dress like this to go to church, do I? <laughs> now, somebody's looking That's like an good. owner of an inn. Yes. yes. You look amazing. For someone with an Amish Mennonite lifestyle, well, yeah, I look <laughs> radically different. You look amazing. Wow. You look so different. Karen, you look good. Yep. Really good. Are you ready to go inside? I've been dreaming of this moment. Right. So, yeah. um, follow me. Let's go. Come on, all of you. <gasps> oh. What's missing? My bed. Karen's bed. <laughs> Isn't this what a inn should look like? Yes. A tiny little convenience store that is bright and modern and everything is on view. And even if you're not staying in the inn, guests will come in and buy stuff. You can sell stuff properly. It's a proper little boutique. I'm overwhelmed. I'm... It looks amazing. Amazing. Wow. What Gordon has done is Phenomenal. The store here looks great. It's like walking into a whole nother place. Please. All right. Whoa. God is the dust. Well oh my done. goodness. Yes. Well done. Look at that. Beautiful design. Beautiful. When I walked in this dining room first off, it was dreary yes. and laden with junk. And now we have a proper dining room. Yes. Oh, lovely. Look at that. All day menu. Well, the menu hangs on the wall. It's written daily according to what you've got available, Jeff. Yes. And when we run out, we run out. We tear it off and we start again. If you turn around, you'll see the custom artwork on the wall. Please do not paint over that. I will not. I will promise, promise you. Promise. No problem. I is, love it. That's the only mural we need on the wall. Just that. Enough is enough. Yeah. Right, you ready to see upstairs? Yes. Yeah. As you come up, have a little look at the hallway first, please. Oh, wow. Gone to the baskets. Anyone wants to do a little bit of work, a little bit of writing, Absolutely. can sit here. Absolutely. Beautiful. Wow. Jump in. Everything's going to jump in. Oh, my, oh my God. God. Is this the look. photography? Oh. That's right. Oh, my God. Oh, what a vision. I can't believe it's the same oh, wow. room. New sheets, new bedding, and a new carpet. It's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, my.
my God. No more murals on the wall. We have a nice, stunning wall. I love it. No more Brillo pads in the wall. They've gone. <laughs> I love it. And you have your very own wardrobe. <laughs> no padlock on it. <laughs> How nice is that? Yes, you can use a wardrobe. It is exquisite. My family thinks I'm so set in my ways that I'm not going to like any of these changes and I'm going to go right back to the old way. I know that's what they're thinking. And they couldn't be further from the truth. My team has spent the last two days cleaning out the kitchen by getting rid of the microwaves, refrigerators, and freezers. I've created a much smaller menu that is manageable for the kitchen staff to execute. Please, take your menu and pass them on. Oh, wow. oh I love it. <laughs> now, what do you think? Couldn't be more beautiful and appealing. Isn't it? Mm -hmm. yes. Now, let's be real. The kitchen is tiny. So, a small dynamic menu as the seasons change. We go through to spring and summer, then we'll increase on a daily special only according to what business is about. That makes okay? sense. <laughs> and so we're not buying unnecessary and we're not adding 10 more appetizers and entrees on there just because we want to look busy. No. Keep it plain and simple. Keep it plain, delicious and simple. Let's go through the dishes. A high street burger. No water. <laughs> uh, no water. No. Uh, beautiful pate, wonderfully seasoned. <laughs> a griddle in there to sear and cook them to order. Chicken pot pie. Little modern twist on a salad niçoise, but we've done it with salmon. Yeah. Homemade granola. Seasonal berries. Cheap and easy to put out that tiny kitchen. And then, of course, the mac and cheese. It does not go in the microwave. What's that? I don't exactly know what that. What's that? The sports bar of microwaves has gone. Yes. Yes. <laughs> um, visually, what do you think? It's yeah. beautiful. Simple oh, my and God. fast. And it takes a big load off in the kitchen. Yes. And we're not buying frozen. It's all fresh. Right, knife and fork, and have a little taste. Oh, man. Mm. That is good. Oh, my. That's like mama's macaroni and cheese. People will drive from Washington, D.C. to come oh, here oh, and eat this way. So good. Tonight, the town's inn relaunches the inn and the restaurant. Right, how are we feeling? Good. Are we ready? Awesome. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Tough week, but it's been instrumental. Let's put this place back on the map, OK? Push the freshness of the menu. I don't want anyone panicking. There's nothing we can't do on the menu. Any issues, we talk about it. If we talk to each other, we prevent mistakes happening. If we shut down, things will happen without us knowing. Wow. Karen, anything you'd like to say to the team? Thank you, and I'm looking forward to moving forward. There you go. Oh, that's yeah. great. Good luck. Let's go, guys. Thank you. Let me help you down the stairs. Thank Good you. to see you. Welcome to the Towns Inn. Look at that view checking in, it looks yes. like. Immediately, the guests see the changes in the dining room and the rooms. Yeah, it's beautiful. Nice. Yeah. Wow, look at this. Yes. Very nice. I love this bed. This is pretty nice. Oh, look at this. You got a nice armoire. And throw our stuff in here. How do you like the changes? Looks good. This I can definitely say this is way better. Way than better. What I <laughs> this is definitely an improvement. Yes. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. New restaurant town. Indeed. That's a burger with French fries, BLT, and a mac and cheese. Great. The kitchen is functioning more efficiently with a smaller menu, and is preparing the dishes cooked to order. And Karen is overseeing the inn as an owner, and successfully treating this place like a business for the first time. How's everything so far? I heard you like this soup. Order in, please. Yes, I got okay. five minutes on the burger, chef. And we got two orders of fries. Right, nice and crispy, the fries, and seasoned beautifully, yes? Yes, sir, chef. Well done. That is outstanding. So now we have a place to come in the winter time. Good, so you can come back. Yeah, we're That's locals. Great. What does it mean, a small little local bistro to the town? How good is that for you? Actually, it's huge. Uh, we need more local bistros like this. We're really great. excited to have it. <laughs> good to see you. Good Take care. Good night. Thank you, guys. Good, 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 good night. Thank you. Take care. Good night. Happy customers. Wow. I'm off. Thank you, man. You're welcome. Don't lose that passion. I'm off. Yeah? Continue enhancing this kitchen and stick together. Yes. Yeah, you're strong together, you two. We yeah. Will. Okay. Thank yeah. Good. I love it. Yeah. Take care. We all love See you soon. It. Right. <laughs> See you soon. Look after each other. We will. Okay. Tonight proved that this place can work. The potential is 
incredible. The locals are dying to see this place at the forefront of this amazing town. The area is historic. Make sure you're in follows down that line. Karen, I know change is going to be hard. I know you're going to resist, but you cannot afford to go back. You've got to go forward. So I know how much this means to you, and I know what kind of jeopardy is at stake if it doesn't work. So think of the consequences. It's not just you. Mm -hmm. It's your son, your son's mm -hmm. family, and the legacy that you want to continue mm -hmm. with. So I'm leaving you all the tools. Push forward. Mm -hmm. Promise right. me you're not going to go back to your old ways. This is more fun and more effective, and I just have seen the positive response from everybody. You, you did the, the, the groundwork here. Thank you. So thank you. You have an amazing inn. Yeah. Okay. Uh, amazing location, beautiful village. Do not village. move those clothes back in from Lamont's basement. Uh -huh. Get rid of this stuff, let it fly off the shelves, and what start getting mm -hmm. this place back on the map mm -hmm. and enjoy that lovely little cottage. Take time out and spend time with the grandkids and mm -hmm. just let the business breathe. Yeah. I promise. Yes. Thank mm -hmm. you. All right. <laughs> Gordon's visit has been extremely educational. This is good. This is right. This is what it should be. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> I want the end to be successful, and I think it will be now. Take care now. Thanks, Karen. Good night. Wow. <laughs> and that's it. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, come back. <laughs> come back. I want to see him go. <laughs>since my visit, Karen has continued to lease the house I had previously rented for her and has been listening to her staff to make positive changes. That is awesome. And her son Jason has gotten involved with the business to help Karen meet their goals and both are happy to report business is heading in the right direction.